We're going to start off the workout with a dynamic warm up, and the object is just to get warmed up by getting a little blood flow, get the body temperature up, which already isn't a very big problem because it's 110 outside. We're going to start off with just the dynamic warm up, then we start off the exercises with lighter weights than we're actually going to use for the work set. So you go from a kind of a general warm up to a more specific one. Today's workout is going to consist of deadlifts followed by weighted wide grip pull ups, next straight arm pull downs, then T bar band resisted rows then chest supported dumbbell rows, and finally cable lat pull downs. We're starting off with the deadlift. Getting a nice warm up. Branches form looks really good. From this angle you can watch branches where, where branches hips are. He's in about a half squat position. That's the optimal starting point. Good flat back. Branches up to 405 now, and this, if you remember, this is the heaviest he went before the Arnold Classic. You can already see, look how dialed in he looks now. At 495, as the weight increases, branch for, branches form stays dialed in, keeping that good flat back, and it locking out every rep. Doing wide, wide grip pull-ups today. Getting branches, getting a warm up here with just his body weight. Branch is doing wide grip pull-ups with 35 pounds. As we add weight to him, his form stays the same. You can see over the past few weeks the amazing amount of strength he's gained. We're now up to 65 pounds on the weighted pull-ups. Branch is now doing pull wide grip pull-ups with 90 pounds over his body weight. Point of emphasis here, as the weight gets heavy, he makes sure he's getting that full range of motion and mainly getting that stretch at the bottom because he's not able to get his chin all the way over the bar just because of the way he's built and how much, how much muscle he's packed on his body. For the average person that's able to do that, they do want to get their chin over the bar and importantly, get that stretch at the bottom. If you watch at the bottom of the lift as, he's, as he stretches all the way out, you can see his lats kind of flare out. So you got to that's very case in point why it's important for full development of a wide back. We're maximizing time under tension. A lot of people only look at the amount of reps you're doing as a variable to, to increase muscle growth, but you also have to look at the amount of time your muscles are in tension. So here, instead of concentrating on the amount of reps Branch is doing, we're doing a maximum amount of reps for 45 seconds. And as it gets difficult in a movement like the pull-up where you're not going to get hurt if you don't get the full range of motion, he branch continues. Even when he can't get the full range of motion, he has partials. And that's what you want to do on movements like that where you're not going to get hurt with your, when your form's a little off and you're having to cheat a little bit to get the weight up, in this case your body weight. You want to keep doing that. So we're trying to maximize time under tension. Generally, for optimal muscle growth, we're going to be in the 30 to 60 second range. Today, we're going 45 seconds on the wide grip pull-ups. Again, we're going straight arm pull downs. It's one of the, it's a great way to add width to your lats and details to your back, as talked about earlier. Also, on the way up, we're doing a little differently today. If you notice, Branch is getting that good stretch up, but I'm doing a I'm doing a five count in the eccentric or negative portion of the rep. This what this does is keep Branch's muscles under tension for more time, and really make him concentrate on the negative portion of the rep.
Today we're doing T-bar rows against the band. What the band does as you pull the weight up, the resistance increases. So when you're trying to get that squeeze of the, the top, this makes the, dip, the movement much more difficult and you're really gonna feel it in your upper back. If you watch the bands, as even as a weight, even with with no weight on the, the bar, let alone when you add bait, you, you need to be careful. What the bands will do is they cause an overspeed effect on the negative portion of the rep, meaning if you're not careful, it's gonna slam the weight to the floor really fast. So what this does is force you to control the weight or the or it will slam on the ground. So if you're forced to control it, ne the negative portions of or eccentric portions of reps have been shown multiple times in multiple studies to be very, very important variables in muscle growth. So what this is doing is forcing you to control that eccentric. This is a chest supported dumbbell row and Branch is for, focusing on getting that squeeze at the top of the rep and getting a good full range of motion stretching at the bottom of the rep. The benefit to this over a traditional barbell or even a dumbbell row standing up is you're completely taking the stress off your lower back and after heavy deadlifts and heavy rows and all those sorts of things that put a ton of strain on your lower back, this is the great way to optimize the workload in your upper back without further taxing your lower back. The key points here, get a squeeze at the top and a full stretch at the bottom. This is not a power movement where you want to get your whole body into it. This is an alternative way of doing a lat pull down with a cable, a great way to, to add size to your lats. And what, what this is, what's interesting about this way of doing it, be, besides just an interesting variation, is you're doing it with cable, so that forces your arms to work independently or so-called unilaterally. What this does is eliminate the chance, because all, when all you do is movements with, with two limbs, whether it be for your lower body a squat, your upper body a bench press or row, you have the potential to create imbalances because if one side's stronger than the other, it will overcompensate. Bilateral barbell and movements are, the, are going to be the base of your training, but it's very important that you have both limbs work independently as well. And this is a great way to hit your back doing just that versus a traditional lap pull down.